With the Western holiday season coming up, we wanted to show you a great mashed potato dish from the Yunnan province, Lao Na Yang Yu, Grandma's Mashed Potatoes. They're always a favorite with travelers. This classic home-cooked dish will feel familiar, but amps things up with chilies and pickled veg. So to get started with Yunnan Grandma's Mashed Potatoes, you'll need potatoes. This was 500 grams of russets, and Yukon Golds would also work great. Peel the potatoes, then cut them into chunks. Roughly two inch cubes are perfect. Toss on a plate, and these are good to steam. Now to steam, we'll be using one of these steaming racks, but if you don't have one, you can also raise things up with a pair of chopsticks. Either way, toss on the plate, cover, and let those steam for 20 minutes, and as that's going, we can prep everything else. So we'll be frying this with three cloves garlic, smashed, then roughly minced, four scallions sliced with the white and green parts separated, one teaspoon chili powder and a solid cayenne would be totally fine. One teaspoon Sichuan peppercorn powder. Bottled stuff's great because we're actually going for fragrance and not numbingness here. And 50 grams Yunnan pickled Suan Yen Sai. Now this stuff's a special sort of Yunnan pickle. It adds a lot to the dish, but you can totally sub in Sichuanese Ya Tsai, which is really similar. But if that's a no-go too, no problem, some minced up sauerkraut would hit a lot of the same notes, or you could even just skip the pickle. But regardless, now that the potatoes are done steaming, take them out and be sure not to drain any liquid from the plate, we'll need that starch water. And now, we can fry. So as we always do when stir frying, first, long yao. Get your wok piping hot, shut off the heat, add in the oil, here about two tablespoons, and give it a swirl to get a nice nonstick surface. Heat on medium now, immediately toss in the garlic. Fry for about 15 seconds, then go in with the white part of the green onion. Super brief mix, then in with your pickled veg of choice. Quick mix, then toss in the chili powder. Fry for about 15 seconds, then add in the potato together with its water from steaming. Now grab your spatula and just start mashing. Do this for about a minute to let it come together a bit, then swirl in another tablespoon of oil and add in a quarter teaspoon salt. We're putting the salt in now to give it some time to mix in. Continue mashing for another 90 seconds or so until the large chunks are basically gone then add in the Sichuan pepper powder and a handful of the sliced scallion greens. Now, you can mash to your liking, but this dish usually does have some tiny little chunks of potato, so just mix and mash for another 30 seconds or so, heat off, and that's it. So while some people like to shape these mashed potatoes, we'll keep things rustic and just spoon them in. Now, you can absolutely eat this as is. It's usually served just like this, but sometimes you'll find it topped with a bit of Yoladza chili oil. We really like it here, so that's what we did. And alternatively, a bit of Laoganma chili crisps and oil is super tasty too if you don't feel like making Yoladza. If you do want a quick Yoladza chili oil though, add in one tablespoon of hot chili flakes to a bowl and heat up four tablespoons of oil. Get it up to 190 centigrade and turn off the heat. Once the oil's back to about 150 centigrade, toss it in with the chili flakes and give it a stir. Now top your potatoes with the chili oil or the Laoganma and you've got some Lao Na Yang Yu, Yunnan Grandma's mashed potatoes. So if you can't find one of these Chinese pickles and you're using sauerkraut, what you can do is add some sugar to make up for the sweetness. Here about a teaspoon and also another teaspoon of chili powder to make up for the slight uh, spiciness. So check out the other link in the description box for a detailed recipe. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.